Standard 7, Subject Maths, Chapter 8, Algebraic Expressions and Operations on Them. Today, let us solve Practice Set 33. In this practice set, you will learn addition of algebraic expressions. So, first let us understand addition of monomials. In the previous practice set, you have become familiar with terms such as monomials, binomials, trinomials or polynomials. So, how do we add them? If you are given 3 govas and you are told to add 4 govas to it, you would simply do 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 govas. So, similarly, instead of govas, if we take a variable which is x, so 3x plus 4x is equal to, you just add the coefficient 3 plus 4, that is 7 and the variable remains as it is. So, your final answer is 7x. Just as govas remained as it is, the numbers were added. Similarly, here also the numbers which we call coefficients will be added and the variable x remains as it is. So, like terms are added as we would add up things of the same kind. Alright, this is about addition of monomials. Addition of binomial expressions. Now, there is, there are two methods, horizontal arrangement and vertical arrangement. Both are explained here. You can use any one which you find easy to solve your practice set 33. Okay, in this particular explanation, I am going to use the horizontal method. So, let us have a look. 2x plus 4y is given in bracket plus 3x plus 2y. So, your first step will be to open the brackets. 2x plus 3, 3x plus 4y plus 2y. So, what we have done after opening the brackets, like terms we have brought together x terms together and y terms together and now add the coefficients 2 plus 3 5 variable remains same that is x plus 4 plus 2 6 and the variable y remains same final answer 5x plus 6y can we add 5x plus 6y further no the variables are different so only you can add when the variables are the same in vertical arrangement, you arrange 2x plus 4y on top. Below it, you put addition sign and arrange below x, 3x and below 4y, 2y. And then add 4 plus 2, 6, 6y plus 3 plus 2, 5, 5x. So, 5x plus 6y is your final answer. So, these are the two methods. Let us see how we can add like terms okay so to add like terms we add their coefficients and write the variable after the sum now in the previous example i've shown you without power now the variables have got power so what to do in such kind of case look at the example horizontal arrangement 9x square y square minus 7xy plus 3x square y square plus 4xy now, all the terms you will see have x, y. But in certain cases, there is the power x square, y square for two terms. And for two terms, it is just, the variables are just x into y. So, we will bring like terms together. So, see the first step. We open the brackets. 9x square, y square minus 7xy plus 3x square, y square plus 4xy. Now, get the like terms together in one bracket. So, which are the like terms? 9x square y square plus 3x square y square is, are the like terms which we put together in a bracket. Plus minus 7xy plus 4xy. The variables are same. So, we put them as together in a bracket as like terms. And then we operate them. 9 plus 3 is 12. x square y square remains the same. Remember students, variables will not be added. Only the coefficients we have to add of like terms. Minus. Now, first operate. 
सेवन एक्स वाई प्लस फोर एक्स वाई एक्स वाई रिमेन सेम प्लस एंड माइनस ऑपरेशन इज माइनस सेवन माइनस फोर इज थ्री एंड साइन ऑफ द ग्रेटर इज नेगेटिव सो माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई इज योर आंसर इन वर्टिकल अरेंजमेंट यू हैव नाइन एक्स स्क्वेयर वाई स्क्वेयर माइनस सेवन एक्स वाई प्लस थ्री एक्स स्क्वेयर वाई स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर एक्स वाई देन यू विल ऑपरेट इट अकॉर्डिंगली प्लस एंड माइनस इज माइनस सो सेवन माइनस फोर थ्री साइन ऑफ ग्रेटर नंबर माइनस माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई यू गॉट एंड नाउ नाइन प्लस थ्री ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व एक्स स्क्वेयर वाई स्क्वेयर सो विच एवर मेथड यू फाइंड ईजी यू कैन फॉलो दैट टेक केयर इन थ्री एक्स प्लस सेवन वाई द टू टर्म्स आर नॉट लाइक टर्म्स हेंस द सम कैन ओनली बी रिटर्न एज थ्री एक्स प्लस सेवन वाई और सेवन वाई प्लस थ्री एक्स so as i had mentioned earlier you cannot add unlike terms so now we are ready to solve our practice set number 33 all together six questions are given let's solve them one by one first one 9p plus 16q in one bracket plus 13p plus 2q so our first step will be to open the brackets so 9p plus 16q प्लस थर्टीन पी प्लस टू क्यू वॉट वी हैव डन ओनली ओपन द ब्रैकेट्स नाउ अरेंज द लाइक टर्म्स टूगेदर सो नाइन पी इज अ फर्स्ट टर्म सो विच टर्म इज गोइंग टू बी अ पेयर विथ नाइन पी ये थर्टीन पी सो नाइन पी प्लस थर्टीन पी वी टेक पेयर इट अप टूगेदर इन वन ब्रैकेट प्लस सिक्सटीन क्यू प्लस टू क्यू इज अ सेकेंड ऑपरेशन When you add nine plus thirteen, you get twenty-two. P remains as it is. Variable will not change. Plus sixteen plus two is eighteen. Eighteen Q. So final answer twenty-two P plus eighteen Q. All right. Second sum. Two A plus six B plus eight C in one bracket plus sixteen A plus thirteen C plus eighteen B in another bracket. First step is to open the brackets and write the terms as it is. So we open the brackets and write the terms two a plus six b plus eight c plus sixteen a plus thirteen c plus eighteen b. Second step would be to group the like terms together. So we put in bracket two a plus sixteen a, first bracket, plus second bracket six b plus eighteen b. Plus third bracket, eight c plus thirteen c, and now we add the coefficients. Two plus sixteen, eighteen a. Six plus eighteen, twenty four b, and eight plus thirteen, twenty one c. Variables remain as it is. So your final answer is eighteen a plus twenty four b plus twenty one c. So it's very simple. First, open the brackets. second group the like terms together and third is add their coefficients and you get your final answer third sum 13x square minus 12y square plus 6x square minus 8y square first step would be open the brackets so 13x square minus 12y square plus 6x square minus 8y square second step group the like terms together So thirteen x square plus six x square first bracket plus minus twelve y square minus eight y square in second bracket. Remember you have to write the sign with the term as it is while putting in the brackets. So now operate it. Thirteen plus six is nineteen. Nineteen x square plus in bracket we'll get minus minus plus twelve plus eight twenty. Sign remains negative. Minus twenty y square. Now open the bracket. Plus and minus is minus. So nineteen x square minus twenty y square is your final answer. Fourth sum. Seventeen a square b square plus sixteen c plus twenty eight c minus twenty eight a square b square. Now though we have squares here, you need not worry if they are both the same like a is raised to the power of 2 and b is raised to the power of 2 in both the terms then you can group them together so 
Our first step would be to open the brackets. Second step to group the like terms together. Which are the like terms? 17 a square b square minus 28 a square b square. Put them in first bracket plus 16 c plus 28 c will go in second bracket. Now add the coefficients of these like terms. If you have to add, you will add. If the operation is coming to subtraction, you will subtract. So let's see the first bracket. Plus 17 minus 28. Plus and minus operation is always minus. 28 minus 17 is 11. And sign of greater number is negative. 28 is greater than 17 and it is negative. So answer will also bear negative sign. So minus 11 a square b square plus 16 plus 28 is 44. 44 C. So final answer minus 11 a square b square plus 44 C. Okay. Fifth sum. 3 y square minus 10 y plus 16 plus 2 y minus 7 in second bracket. Just open the brackets as your first step. After opening the brackets, pair up the like terms. Now 3y square has not got anyone to pair up with. So leave it. Keep it as it is. 3y square plus. Now minus 10y plus 2y will go in first bracket. Plus 16 minus 7 which are only numbers will go in the next bracket. Now you will solve 3y square again as it is. Plus 10y is negative. So minus 10y plus 2y plus and minus operation minus 10 minus 2, 8 and sign of greater is negative. So negative for the answer also. So minus 8y goes in bracket plus 16 minus 7 is 9. Now we will open the bracket plus into minus operation minus. So 3y square minus 8y plus 9 is your final answer. Sixth sum, minus 3y square plus 10y minus 16 in first bracket, plus 7y square plus 8 in second bracket. Okay, so now here we open the brackets first and then group the like terms together. Minus 3y square plus 7y square is our like terms, so first bracket, plus next number you see is 10y. 10y has nothing to pair with, so keep it as it is. Plus minus 16 plus 8 in another bracket. So wherever possible you will bring the like terms together. If not possible keep the term as it is in the sequence. Now operate it. 7 minus 3 is 4. Greater sign is positive. So answer will be positive. 4y square plus 10y as it is plus 16 minus 8 is 8. Greater number is negative. So answer will be minus 8. So 4y square plus 10y minus 8 is your final answer. We open the bracket plus into minus is minus. So this way we have completed all the 6 sums. Hope you have understood this practice set. Do practice more sums and solve this particular practice set in your book. So dear students, stay safe, keep learning and thank you.